this is a very important book in uh, in terms of the approach to studying the tarot by Gertrude Oakley. It's called the Tarot Cards, painted by Bonifacio Bembo for the Visconti Sforza family, an iconographic and historical study by Gertrude Moakley, published by the New York Public Library in 1966. Here we have um, design by Bernard Etter and Barbara Broad, composed in the printing office of the New York Public Library, printed by Offset and bound by Edward Brothers Incorporated and Arbor, Michigan. Here we have the Library of Congress catalog card number, the copyright 1966 by the New York Public Library, Esther Lennox and Tilden Foundations, published with the help from the Emily Ellsworth Ford Scale Fund. Dedications here to Martin Drayson and the air-conditioned Donnell Library Center, Sine Quibus Non. Not quite sure what that Latin phrase mean um, means, and anyone who knows how to interpret that to English, feel free to post down below. Okay. Why this is not in publication and is currently selling for a ridiculous amount of money, thankfully I didn't pay that much when I bought this a few years ago, can be summarized in two words. Stuart Kaplan. So I shall leave you to do your own research about what's going on there. But um, it is very important in the tarot history in terms of the study of tarot from this historical perspective, from this very matter-of-fact secular perspective in the 60s, were quite unique to Mowgli. And I suppose it paved the way to subsequent uh, tarot historians, if there is such a thing. Uh, tarot history is an established um, academic pursuit. It is um, fallen in the realm of enthusiasts. And um, although the likes of Thierry de Polis and Michael Dummett are a class of their own, they're both historians, I believe. One is a playing card historian, the other one is a um, historian historian. I'm not sure. Again, comment down below if you know a bit more about that. But for some reason, uh, Gertrude Moakley's approach here reminds me the most of um, another woman author, Helen Farley, and her book, um, The Cultural History of Terror. Um, she has related to me that because it was part of her thesis, any sales of the book uh, published by the publishing company, which uh, book I purchased a few years ago, uh, she is not seeing a penny out of that sale, out of those sales. So with her blessings, um, I would like to direct you to a PDF form of the book. I will link it down below. Um, as far as I know, uh, that is still the case that as an author uh, of the supposed um, academic or thesis, uh, not only is she not getting any money from the sales of the book, She's also uh, permissible per, uh, within her right to share her work in PDF form, and that is what I will link down below. Um, Gertrude Moakley is pivotal in her hypothesis that the La, Pepe, the La Papessa, or the Popes here in the Visconti's Falso deck, is in fact Sister Maifreda, uh, a relation of the Visconti family. That hypothesis is quite an elegant one, although there are other theories since, I think that hypothesis is perhaps the one that still stands currently. Uh, so we will await with better breath um, of another hypothesis that can match, if not surpass, the current one that proposed Sister Maifreda is the Popes. So you can see here that the approach to her study terror was very unique at the time. I believe at the time no one has ever done what she's done. Um, no one have approached tarot in a manner that she's approached tarot here. Um, and again, as I said, um, this very much reminds me of Helen Farley's um, The Cultural History of Tarot more than the Michael Dummett and Theory de Police's version of tarot history. Or, not version of tarot history, but approach to studying tarot history. It feels almost as if these are not their specialty, but uh, this particular 
sets of cards intrigue them. And for Helen Farley, it's the tarot intrigued her. And uh, it isn't necessarily um, an area of specialty, but uh, they tackle the topic in this case, the Visconti Sforza. In the case of Helen Farley, it's the tarot with passion. And then they moved on. Perhaps that's why. So this is a little bit worse for wear. Uh, it has lost its dust jacket. I bought this for about $50. I managed to find another one for $50 for a friend of mine. Unfortunately, currently um, on Amazon, I was told someone's asking 250 Great British Pound, which is the equivalent of 500 New Zealand dollars, which I think is a bit too much. However, having said that, the market is where the market is willing to pay. And so it is too much for me, but perhaps not too much for somebody else. So if you are keen on this being reprinted, I don't know what you can do really to um, encourage um, the printing of this book, given that the copyright is currently in private property and there isn't any inkling or indication as of end of July 2020 that the person who owns the copyright of this book uh, has any desire of reprinting this book, which, um, yeah, if the uh, interest is financial, then the only way to make money, I suppose, is to print and sell it, sell them. I don't know, can't comment on that. Um, but here it is, the tarot cards painted by Bembo by Mowgli here, New York Public Library 1966. And if you are keen on following up on what's going on with the Mowgli um, estate and potentially um, publicizing something of Mowgli's or something of this book, uh, go to a Facebook group for the Tarot History Group, which I will try to link down below as well. Okay.